wanna let you guys know that unfortunately, Police Fleet Expo is only for people that are in law enforcement or if you're an upfitter or in the biz. It's not open to the public. However, I am your VIP ticket in, so enjoy the show. And here we are, day two of the Police Fleet Expo. We're in the New Orleans Ernest Morial Convention Center. It took me a while to figure that one out, but we're here, it's day two. The showroom floor is about to open. Let me come over here. Oh, that's better. All right, so here with Havana White, back at it again. She's got the B-roll going. So we're gonna be headed inside. We're gonna meet up with Pete. He's the owner of this conference and he's gonna run us down a little bit about what's inside, but I can give you a sneak peek. So I'm Peter Kingwell. I'm the principal of Signal Business Group and every year we put on the Police Fleet Expo. This year we happen to be in New Orleans, Louisiana, the Big Easy. We had our track event on Monday, which you'll see in another video. And today we open up to our exhibits to 85 different fleet specific vendors of equipment. Everything from light bars, tires, high performance brakes, vehicles, off-road vehicles, motorcycles, anything and everything that goes in or on a police car is available inside. Right. If you are a, a fleet or an automotive enthusiast, this is your candy land right here. That's what I'm talking about. So can we enter? Like kind of like the Wizard of Oz. What the hell? Bust my buttons! Why didn't you say that in the first place? Come on in! <laughs> Absolutely. All right. This is the playground. Get in there and dig into it. Here we go! with the shirts and here's our tour guide for the day. How you doing Nick man? Hey I'm Brett with Satina. Nice, nice Satina. Yes. Satina. No. S Satina. Satina there it, it is. Okay so today uh, we're here we're checking you guys out this year we checked you out last year so what do you got going on, on the showroom floor? Yeah we've got a few new products. Notice Should that. we start with the Tahoe or we've got a new Mustang Mach-E over here as well? Oh I, I think they're gonna want to see the Mustang Mach-E. Great. Mach -E. Well let's take a look. All right. So we've got all the equipment you need to fully outfit your Mustang Mach-E. Uh, we've got our push bumpers here we're showing our PB450 lighted push bumpers and our pit wraps here for the pit maneuver also just protects the front end of the vehicle. Um, if you come on back, we've got a few other items here. We've got our single, single prisoner partition here, uh, center pole seat belt, plastic seat, all satina, window barriers, door guards. If we come to the back, um, we kind of did a new take on our rear partition. Um, we've got an integrated electronics box here as well. Ah, so that's where all the pretty stuff is back there. Absolutely. All right. Um, got a uh, wiring conduit here so you can tuck all your wires away. Another rifle rack back there. And an optional gun lock, yep, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. So right behind me, this is the new Chevy Blazer. It's a total EV vehicle. This vehicle right here is not released yet. It's coming out in February. We're getting another first look here at Police Fleet Expo. Let me go give you a little walkthrough. I'll tell you about this vehicle. This is a Nod Squad official first look. This vehicle, again, not available yet, but it will be come February. On the inside, you can see that it's just ready to go for police work. This is the police package. You can see they have plastic floors, stuff here just made for a working vehicle. They have the center console already in there. This is what it should look like once it gets all completely upfitted. See some of the major other manufacturers coming out with other EV vehicles, and this is gonna be their uh, competitor here. I'm loving the outside look of it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. So the big question is, how many miles can this thing run on a single charge? And on a single charge, with all the equipment inside, it can run 250 miles on a single charge. And also, it has 20 to 50 hours of idle time. That means it's just hanging out with the police equipment on, 20 to 50 hours, just idling. And then you have a DC fast charge so in 10 minutes, you can charge this bad boy up for 71 miles. So pretty impressive first look. 
Another non squad first left. I'm into cameras. I like this. Look at that. Nick. Nick? Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Colin. Nice to meet you. This is the Argus BWC by Custom Signals. A lot of really cool features with our new body camera here. Um, all your standard features, record activation, GPS, 4G, yeah. some other new things that we've brought to the market with this. Um, they do have a hot swappable battery, so taking this back cover off, there's a battery that you can replace with a fresh one. No, no more worrying about your unit dying before your shifts end or anything like that. Yep. Um, event detection or AI phrase detection. Yeah, so a you couple said something automatic, about AI. What's yeah. the AI in there? Uh, so the AI in here will uh, detect some phrases that are just said as part of the line of duty. You know, so if an officer says "drop the gun" or something like that, see your hands. Exactly. Yeah. It can start recording automatically without them having to interact. <laughs> <laughs> Down the ground. <laughs> See if it turned out. No. No. <laughs> no. I have that. I have that disabled right now. But okay. um, other other ways it can go into record. If an officer falls down or they yeah. start running, it's going to detect that and automatically start recording for so them. So does it go back and record? Like yeah, absolutely, seconds? absolutely. We have pre-event up to two minutes, 120 seconds. That oh. can be enabled with either audio or without audio. Uh, up to up to the agency. Um, Another really cool feature is live streaming. Yeah. Now, live streaming gives the agency, gives the admi administrators the ability to remotely view what's happening in real time. Now, officers are in control of when that can be done. The unit has to be recording in order for anyone to live stream. There's no way for them to remotely activate it or remotely live stream without the officer ah. saying, hey, I'm recording, You're, you can live stream now. That's big because some dispatch centers I've been in, uh, they'll have a map up and then they'll have like little green dots. Yeah, absolutely. And then you can just click on the green yep. dot and open the officer's camera to see what they're doing. With this one, officer has to give permission. The officer has to give permission by starting a recording. And unless they do that, there's no way to review that live stream. All right, so I think a lot of unions are gonna be happy with this I one I think here. so too. And they're gonna be like, hey, we need to get these body cameras. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so too. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool features in here besides all that, but that's one of the coolest parts to me. All right, where will we find you? Just go to customsignals.com and request a quote. Last thing. What's that back there? <laughs> <laughs> That's our NASCAR simulator. So that actually, uh, we bought that from a NASCAR training team, and we use that as a, a way to drive people into our booth. But it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's something that uh, people enjoy doing, but it also gives us a way to show off our Eagle 3 radar that's uh, hanging right hey. there on the bottom right of that monitor. It's like LA, there you go, know we're about there to you take go. Off. Oh, shit. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh, hey. Look at these guys. Hey. What up, Mike? How you doing, man? What's going on? My name's Casey Moore. I'm the technical director here at Lightning Wireless. So how's it going? You see some stuff you like this year? Definitely. Favorite booth? Got to be Wheeling. Wheeling? Yeah. Awesome trip, man. Wheeling, definitely. <laughs> Two for two. Guys, Wheeling. You know when we're at Wheeling, we got to see this guy. There? What's up, man? How are you doing? All right, back on the channel. You're all over the place. I try to be. Listen, Wheeling always does it big. They had a race car simulator back there. Actual race car simulator. Wheeling's like, we have a race car. We have a race car. <laughs> <laughs> we brought the real thing. I love it. I you love it. You want to go for a ride? Yeah, I will. Yeah, you yeah. got the keys? Keys are in it. I wrecked over there right out the <laughs> gate, so I'm just letting you know. <laughs> All right, so you want to tell us what you guys got going on here this year? i uh, been talking about our new Edge Light Bar. That's the new product that's recently come out. Mm -hmm. And we're also talking about Wheeling Cloud Platform. I love it. I love the cloud platform. We're able to do the lights too, by the way. Yeah, the, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Starts with the lights, right? Yeah, exactly. So tell us about the cloud. So our data management system, specifically designed for emergency services, we're able to track assets. We're able to do a lot of cool things. We've partnered with us, some other companies to do things like public alerting, so we can alert drivers ahead of us when we're responding, let them know to look out for emergency vehicles approaching or maybe up ahead at a scene. Yeah. Uh, we can also we partner with GTT Opticom. So we can also change traffic lights to green for those officers. So All right. So make an so intersection safer. That's it. So, okay, here we go. Officers running or fire truck fire running truck. code three. They're headed that way. Wee, 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 wee. Lights are going to start turning green for them. 
That way, have, with that system. Yep, have clear intersections, so we've stopped all other drivers. They have a clear lane of travel. Just makes it safer for them. Gets them there 25 percent faster. Hey Nick, how are you, man? All right. Can you tell me what's going on at your booth here? What, sure. What's the sure, stuff sure. back here? So this is Clear Armor. We're here in partnership with Global Public Safety to display our one-way ballistic product. This is your home glass, mm. your building glass, your school glass, your police station glass. We come in and we have the only patented ballistic laminate that you apply to the rear of the window, the back of your window, and you can actually shoot from the inside and stop bullets from the outside. All right, so it can come out. It can come out. But it's not going in. But it's not going in. Oh. This thin piece of glass with our, uh, our patented material, you can actually stop nine millimeter, 40, 45 double box shotgun. And you don't have to change anything about the structure of your building. Wow. So let me ask you a question. Sure. I see this here, looks like you said window building. You uh -huh. also make them for vehicles? That is correct. We have a, another division, which is called True Armor. True Armor is dedicated to have the thinnest and lightest armor glass in the planet, right? We're DOT certified. We're able to actually go up. Oh, look at that. And down because our product is thin and light. It does not disturb your pattern of life, but it also, most importantly, as most armor vehicles, it doesn't bore your warranty because yeah. you don't have to retrofit anything. Awesome, man. And, I, and we're here at a police fleet expo. That However, is correct. I think this is a great idea for schools, like you said, federal buildings, things like that. Yeah, we're in the business of saving lives, right? We know police are in the line of duty all the time, but they also have to be inside of buildings. They also have to be inside schools, universities, you name it, right? So having something like that that be able to protect the environment they're working in is essential. How you doing? I'm John Frias, fleet sales you, technician. How you doing, Nick? Hey, last time I was here, there was a little spotlight. Correct. And we played a game and we won a hat and stuff. Well, what do you got going on this year at the booth? Well, this year we have a fully matrix-enabled vehicle here with our matrix outliners and our mega thin stick in the back, as well as we have pre-recorded voice messages of a flexible light head that bends up 120 degrees. And then we've also got our Yamaha uh, package over here. Ooh, can we check out that? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah let's sure. go that way. So this package is actually designed with Yamaha to be turnkey straight from the factory with lights and a siren. And it, they actually uh, create packages with two, four, and six seated packages. Now I noticed you got one side with red. So this goes for fire rescue too? Correct, correct. So they, can, right. they can get it for fire or police. Uh -huh. uh, we, we dual branded it so we could take it to multiple events. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna, a little biased, but I think this blue side's a little bit prettier. <laughs> It's also got the capability of doing a full flood scene all the way around, so the switches on the downside, Woo. we'll do a full scene, lighting up your area that you're working in. This thing just looks fun. What's the top speed on that thing? I've taken it 65, hey. and then there, it would keep going, but I ran out of road. Oh, I was gonna so. say, are you allowed to say that on camera? I, I did it with a helmet on. Okay, <laughs> so what are we doing over here now? So on the mirrors, we've got our, our Mega Flex, which is flexed to 120 degrees, and we also have a, 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 four, a four inch, and then we have a three inch version. All right, so these things can stick on curved surfaces. Correct. Good. They also come with a flange that you can mount as well and a flat surface, and you'll see that over at the Weston booth. There's a, some mounted on the back of the, of the D pillars. Oh. We have a supervisor, a thin supervisor. Uh, we've got a mount. We have mounts for all, all your types of uh, police vehicles, as well as our new matrix outliners, which are true tricolor. This is something new that we haven't come out with yet, so you're seeing this first. Ooh, first look. Bow, bow, bow. Like I said, they're three color. We're giving you a lot of first looks. This right here, there you go, first look. Boom. Moving back to the back of the vehicle, we have our D pillars that incorporate a side mounting light. So the days of mounting a light inside the cargo window, yeah. days are over with because you're cutting through tint. So yes. you're reducing the output. Yes. We've got a fourth light here. Everything fits snugly against the, the D pillar. And then we have our new mega, uh, wingmans, our vehicle specific wingmen that hit, sit flush against the glass. Yeah, look at that. For your admin or uh, admin style vehicles or your slick tops. And it's another, another item that we've come out with is a matrix mega thin stick. It's serial data and it's tricolor. So it programs with the rest of the vehicle, synchronizes with the rest of the vehicle, gives you full flood capabilities or traffic amber, amber arrow sticks. Another item we've got this year coming out next week is a pre-recorded voice message amp. You can load up MP3s or WAV files into. On this particular car, we've got a we've got a song on here plus some uh, actual warning messages for severe weather warning, hurricanes, whatnot. We can we can upload your own voice onto. It doesn't matter. You don't have to go anywhere in particular for it. So another sneak peek. Yes, correct. Not even out yet. Not even out yet. Woo! 
I appreciate yes, your time. Thank you. Thank you for coming. All right. Is this the man? This is the man. All right. This is Mike with Southeast Responder Solutions. I'm going to hand the mic off to him. So He'll Mike needs the mic? There you go. Yes, sir. All right. There you go, Mike. I work with Southeast Responder Solutions. These are the night ride thermal imaging cameras. Uh, we have several different options. Of course, the most popular is here on mounted on the spotlight. So it's fully articulated, just takes the power and ground coming in, Wi-Fi straight to your mobile device, so you can always be looking at what you got going on. We've got several options here, various mounting points, including a GoPro mountable one, a fire or emergency apparatus, and then even a magnetic base so it can be swapped between vehicles. So, um, so let me ask you, you said that's GoPro mounted? Yes, sir. It comes with the hood clip here, but if you take the screw out in the middle there, you can mount it on a tack vest, a helmet, you could even mount it on your canine if you needed to. Hey. You're full mobile, take off in the woods, stay in the dark. So I know we're at a police fleet expo. However, uh, I've been on a ride along and, and we had an unfortunate rollover where the person was ejected and they were searching Everglades at night. Yes, sir. On a ladder with a, with a thermal imaging camera. Yes, sir. So, can these be used for that? Absolutely. Well? This one could be mounted on the fire apparatus, but we have uh, instances where this is actually mounted up on the top of the ladder. So when they're fully extended, they have an aerial view and it'll pick up anything anything in the area. Nice. And so how do you control these? Because I see this one's on. Is it something inside the car? This, this one, the one up on the top here, it does have a wireless remote. It'll do a full 360 degree pan, 120 degree tilt. And that's pulling there. Uh, this one is, of course, controlled by your spotlight handle. Correct. We have a wired remote here, so that will be hard mounted in your fire apparatus, so they have it right there. And then this one would just be controlled by your device. So you, you wear it, stationary mount, and then you do everything from your mobile. Awesome stuff. And that one's on a magnet. Yes, sir, that's a magnet. You can actually move around with it. You're good up to about 25, 30 miles an hour just working a scene. Of course, if you're going to hit the highway, you're going to want to pull it back in with you. Oh, nice. All right. So if you wear a metal helmet, you can wear it on a bike. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. It's uh, been a pleasure. Yep. ProGuard. <laughs> yeah, and there's our rep. What's up, How's man? How's it going, man? My name's Greg with ProGuard. Greg, what's going on? Hey, Not last much. time I was here, there was like a little shield that popped Yeah, the Viper the shield, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I oh. saw it up front, it's still here. Oh yeah, it's still here right up front, but we got some new cool products here at ProGuard. If you wanna come to the back of the tower, yeah, we're gonna show it go. out to you. Let's go, baby. So over here, we got our new uh, cargo storage floor system for the Chevy Tahoe. It's a two compartment system. So over here in the front, you got the easy double latch locking mechanisms here, so you can safely secure a firearm inside here if you Ooh, need to. Oh, and I saw it was just, yeah, it's nice and easy. You got two easy, easy lift. You got the hydraulic hinges on the left and right here, so it holds the weight of the door, so you don't have to worry about falling down on you. So it's easy to drop down. And then in the back over here, if you see under there, we have our uh, electronics department. So there, inside of there, there's a black ABS uh, storage system that you can put your electronics onto. Yep. And then you can run your wires all the way through the wire channels. It has a pre-fan cutout in there, so you can hook up your fans for cooling and everything. Nice. Like then our other new cool item that we have is our modular storage boxes. So this is available for the Chevy Tahoe and the Ford Utility. So you can either order it as a two box system yeah. or you can order it just as a big box or a little box or two little boxes together. Nice. It also comes with an electronic locking mechanism right here. So it's a digital code or you can also use a key system like a house key, straight key that you can unlock. So you just unlock it from the left and the right on the locking hinges. And then inside is this new Magpul system that we have here that you can customize by lifting these blocks up and oh, you can yeah. move it around and put your weapons in there. That's pretty cool right there. And then on top up here is a non-locking box that you can put like paperwork in, all your other gears, uh, stop sticks, anything like that that you need to. Road flares. Road flares, yeah, anything. Love it. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, man. It was nice meeting you. All right, take it easy. You have a good one, buddy. As you guys saw I was out with the Mustang out on the track. So today we're going to discuss and check out this Ford Lightning, completely EV. How you doing, man, Nick? All right, Nate, how are you? Uh, nice to meet you. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about this bad boy here you guys got on display? Yeah, this is our SSV mm -hmm. Lightning F-150, purpose built for law enforcement. Right. And the most exciting thing is up front. Let me open the front for you. All right, let's so see, see it. how it works. But the, uh, it's a trunk. <laughs> yeah. So what we got here, we call it a frunk. It's uh -huh. a front trunk. Yep. It can hold 400 liters of volume or 400 pounds of weight. It's got two tiers. In here, you've got a second storage compartment yeah. with a drain plug, so you can fill this up with ice for your drinks, and hey. the ice will just drain out the bottom. 
You can hose it out. It's got a divider. You can put in these slots, a nice. cover, oh, and cooler in there. the best part is it's lit. So you can work here. You've got the dual overhead lights so you don't get a shadow. This is the same height as a tailgate. So you have access to everything in here. Four tie downs, you have hooks all throughout to, uh, to hang things on. This and then the best part is you've got power exportable right here. You've got 2.4 kilowatts, two USB-C, USB-A, and plugs. Nice, and it's, it's good having a trunk in the front like this because it's obviously a pickup truck. And sometimes, when, especially in law enforcement, we need to secure our stuff and we have to buy an extra piece or buy something extra. This comes right here with its own little trunk secured. Yep, waterproof and lockable. Nice. Yeah. This is where you juice it up. This is our Ford Pro charging station, 48 amp. We have an entire division within Ford Pro that will take care of all of your charging needs. So if you're looking for a charger, let us know and we've got these we can we can install. Boom, speaking of charging, yep. how long does it take? What's the some of the stuff? Yeah, so we've got two batteries. We've got the extended range and the standard range. And the extended range we have onboard dual charging, so the extended range battery actually charges faster hey. than the regular battery because nice. it's charging two batteries simultaneously inside of that thing. Awesome. So, it'll take you on a level 2 charger like what we have here. Um, anywhere between eight to 10 hours, depending on um, how low it is and depending on the ambient temperature. Right. One thing we highly recommend is that you get our free Bev Telematics that we are able to precondition the vehicle, turn it on in the morning, so you, when you get in, the cabin is conditioned using the power from the depot or from your house rather than the power from the batteries. And you also got to get the batteries the right temperature too. And if you precondition it, you're going to extend the range. Nice, and what's the range on this? So the extended range is uh, 300, 320, 340 miles, and the standard range is up in the, the high 200s. Nice. Yep. All right. Take a you look, want to take look at the inside. Take a look at inside. Sure. So this is our SSV version. We've got the low bolster seats. We've got the vinyl throughout, cloth in the front, and then we've got vinyl in the back. Oh yeah. Yep. We've got a mounting tray up here, and you can see we've removed our console and and they've put a uh, Havis aftermarket uh, console in here um, for police duty. We've got the big 12 inch screen. And what's great about the screen is it'll show you nearby charging stations. Hey, all right. We got a charging network. So anywhere you go, you're gonna be close to a charger, 75,000 plugs out there. Yeah, you've also got people that'll make underseat storage for this. Look at that. And you've got anti-stab plates put in the back of both of these seats in case the rear passengers get a little ornery. Yeah. And then in the back, you've also got, with the Havis, you've got a 12 volt and a plug and a USB. So you've got four different ways to connect in the back. So you've got the, the fold down tailgate. So you've got the step up right here to get into the back. Oh, look at that. Then over here, you've got your exportable power. So you've got your 110s, you've got your 240 right here. This puts out enough power, it's over seven kilowatts. You don't need to bring a generator. You can run lights off of this, you can run computers, you can run DOIU checkpoint, all off the back of the truck. I'm enough power to last for three days powering a house, 10 days at a, at a job site. And I noticed you have the little uh, rulers here, like a little workstation. Yep. Love it. This is for your phone. Hey. So you can, uh, you there know, you go. set it up here. This is for your drink. There you go. And then you've got clamps, so you can put a clamp in right here if you're going to do uh, any sawing or cutting with these clamps. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your time and okay. appreciate the tour. Thank you. Thank you so Take much. Take care. And we're back. We're back. That's right. Three years ago. Three years. PFP. Three or four? 2019. 2019. Yeah. I'm not good with math, guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we were here. You we're showed us a whole bunch of stuff. Right. What do you got this year? So this year we've got the brand new DFC push bumper. We just released it. We're super excited about this. We've gone to a matte textured finish on this bumper here. It's yes. a very fast install. You can add 10 lights to the bumper without drilling a single hole. The biggest advantage of it is we've integrated the speakers right here. All right, guys, kind of messed up. During Blake's interview, the mic up, up, and we, I lost it. So I had to come back the next day to find Blake, but he's not here. He had to fly out. So my bad, Blake, you're out there. Nothing but love for you, brother. 
but I got somebody with a way cooler name than you to fill in. And his name is Nick. What's going Good on, on, man? So we have the DFC Push Bumper Series, which we uh, made it, we designed it so it's easy to install with less cutting to, into the vehicle to uh, get it mounted to the vehicle. We put our speakers up front so it's, it's easy to access, easy to install, protects the speakers, gets them out front where they do the best uh, for your sound uh, penetration. And then we also have our wing wraps and our pit bars on there as well. Moving down the side, we've got our 416300 flush mount series. We've got our MicroPulse wide angles under the mirrors. Our MicroPulse 6 series under the, the rocker panels here. Valor light bar, our flagship light bar right here. In the quarter windows, we have our Extreme Series dual headlights. And then again, another set of the 416300 flush mounts on the, the side bumper series here. Also have our uh, 416900 inline LEDs that mount in the, the taillight assemblies. MicroPulse spoiler mounts, rear ILS, more sets of extremes, 12 head micro pulse, and then some more flush mounts along the, the bottom of the bumper here. So on the wall here, we've got our Pathfinder display here that shows all our combinations of either all-in-one units or remote control head units, and the, the Mac Daddy of the Pathfinder is the PF400 series. Hey. And that one has four channels of audio, so you can do high frequency tones, you can do built-in rumbler tones on four different channels, so you can run four different independent tones on it as well. Looks awesome. Thank you, appreciate, I appreciate that. I appreciate your time and I love your name. Oh man, <laughs> great to have you. All Thanks right. for coming by. Take it easy. You too, thank you. All right, what a day, what a day. If you are a police department or you're in the upfitting business, a fleet manager, and you're interested in coming to next year's event, Visit Police Fleet Expo online where they'll have all the information about next year's event. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the backstage tour that we got for Police Fleet Expo. We got to ride some awesome cars. We got to check out some awesome exhibits and see some of this police tech for the future. Want to give a big shout out to Pete and all the other members of Police Fleet Expo for having us and the Nod Squad back. Nothing left to do but say I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, well then I'll see you.